and welcome back to our Kansas Jayhawks Dynasty in NCAA Football 2011. Today, we got a nice little triple header for you. We're going to be taking on North Texas to start off season number three. And then we'll be at Houston, who is 21st in the nation right now. And then a rematch from last year against the Tennessee Volunteers, this time in our stadium. So that should be a fun game. Looking forward to that one. Uh, last game we played against them was a really good one. We won with a field goal at the end of the game, I believe. So should have some fun games here today. Some would say this is a, uh, a tune-up game against North Texas, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll give us their absolute best today. But if you haven't already, slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And buckle in for the triple header. Let's do it. See who we got in the chat. If it'll load. Dwayne Haynes. What's going on, Dwayne? What's up, brother? Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. I gotta do some formation subs at the start of this game to get um, to get our younger running backs in some formations so that they're playing quite a bit because I want them on the field with all that speed. So, and once I do that in game, it should transfer over to every other game because apparently it doesn't work for uh, you know when you're on the dynasty menu. It just doesn't work. It feels really bad. Because it like registers as a different playbook for our offense, so it only lets me do formation subs for that one. Surprise! This is televised. summer and it's finally here folks it's week one of the college football season and here come the Jayhawks the Jayhawks should have their way with this team Irby why don't you tell us about their star Kansas has one of the best linebackers in the nation and he can do it all whether it's stuffing the run or playing the pass and coverage I'm just not going to agree Kirk I'll guarantee it what? Yeah, yeah, Kansas is gonna win. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. The pregame routine just wouldn't be the same without that prediction. Now let's get the coin talk. I'm expecting a slaughter in this game, guys. Let's be honest. Our defense is disgusting. We got four linebackers, 90 overall or higher. Uh, the front seven together is just amazing. Uh, the back half, the secondary is a little bit rough. I mean, they're about average, I'd say. Uh, definitely not a lot of speed back there, but hopefully the front seven can carry us this season against some tougher competition. Yes, yes, I know. Commentators and uh, what you call it. No, not AI. What am I doing? Formation subs real quick, and we'll get into it, guys. Got to make sure our playmakers are on the field. Let's see. Alexander, he's the Richard senior transfer that we got after uh, season one. Uh, he's definitely going to be playing. Uh, who we got here? That's Wilson. We'll have Wilson on the field. I want speedsters on this formation. 100%. Um, it's going to be the freshman. Okay, we'll keep them there. And this wishbone, we'll put the young guys on. Uh, let's see. Hayes, Wilson, and Grievous. All right, that should be good, I think. We got our guys out there in plenty of formations, so none of the running backs should really get too tired. Jay Washington, what's going on, brother? Come on, Hayes. Nice block. Broken tackle, still going. Hayes up past the 30, let's go. Stopping by before you go to work. Hey, I hope you have a good day at work, Jay. 
Cody Travis in the chat. What up, Cody? A fellow Cody. Except my name's with a K. K O D I E. All right. Kale Pick is the start of the season. Let's see what we can do. Toss. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Hayes, his first career carry. And he's gone. Oh my goodness. The speed is insane. That's one heck of a start. Wow. Good grief. That speed might be uh, a little too much for North Texas here today. Yeah, he's just pulling away. Nobody's even coming close to catching him. What's my name? My name be Cody. K-O-D-I-E. A.K.A. Optimus on here. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What up, Tyler? What's going on, buddy? All right. So uh, we're 15 seconds into the game, up 7-0. All the momentum in our favor, of course. Edwards on the kickoff. And I get blocked, but it don't matter because we got guys all over the field. Let's go. Our defense. Crowd going crazy. Opening game of the year. See if we get the stadium pulse up to 100. Maybe not against North Texas. I don't know why I'm playing linebacker right now. Nice deflection, but a nice catch by Fisher. <laughs> I think the team with the bird mascot will win. That's crazy. Oh, bad pass over the middle. Had his man open as well. Man, those uniforms are kind of nice. I like the all-whites. All right, they're down and seven. Felix had an upset tummy. Feels bad, Tyler. Feels bad, buddy. 103 decibels, let's go. Fumble! And we got it! Marshall, the defensive end, recovers. Yeah, our defense is going to be just so deadly this year. I think next season, I'll probably not have a, a warm-up game like this. Oh my goodness, what a catch by McDougald. Okay. Nice 18 yard pass. Who is number 11 on this team and why is he gigantic? Parsons. Who the heck is that? Is that a tight end? That's got to be the freshman tight end, right? And Alexander to the one yard line. First or second and goal coming up. This probably isn't going to work too well. But we're going to try it out anyway. And Kale Pick is in for his first score of the season. And we got a quick lead. 14 to nothing here in a second. Well, we know the offense works. Uh, we know the defense works. So, we've got that going for us. Yeah, we'll have some more games tomorrow night. And then uh, Saturday... Stream for, uh, we'll probably finish season three Saturday. Get him. And another fumble. It's recovered by Lee. Dropped at the, what was that, the 21 yard line? 
Let's go. Hold on a second. Did I fix the game? Okay, it is on Heisman. Okay, I just I had to make sure, guys. I had to make sure. I don't remember if I switched it from the uh, what you call them, the preseason drills. The game was just seeming a little too easy, but it's just because uh, North Texas, not that great, I guess. Of course, we're playing on the same sliders as last season, where we had, you know, a handful of really, really good games. One score matchups. Oh, look at this. Nice. Oh, my goodness. The block. Kale pick. Touchdown, Kansas. We're going to be seeing our backups in this one. What a block by the fullback. The, the redshirt freshman fullback with, uh, I think, 84 speed. Well, this game's over. <laughs> All right, we're going to treat this as a uh, as a preseason game. We're going to take Pick out already. He's got two touchdowns. And we're going to start... Is it Meacham that has the 99 throw power? Yeah, we're going to see what Meacham can do. I honestly didn't think this game was going to be that easy. I mean, I know North Texas isn't the greatest, but... Usually the first game of every stream is a little tough. Doesn't really matter who we play, but today, I guess not. Uh-oh. I just got crushed. Twice. Our right, defense. Back to it. Four yards of offense for North Texas. 110 for Kansas. My goodness. Yeah, and that is the problem that we'll have this season secondary, for sure. Just couldn't get over there to deflect it. I'm not sure why he's trying to deflect it on the other side of the receiver, but... Yeah, good times. Rough start to this drive. 53-yard bomb from Manigat. And there's a sack. Let's go. And Roger... Madigat injures his elbow on the play at quarterback. That was a big hit. By looks like Marshall hit him. No, Edwards actually got credit for the sack. Tyler Ed or yeah, Tyler Edwards uh, with the sack. Loss of four. Second to go from the six. Eric Tavares, what's going on, Eric? What's up, brother? And Mansfield in at quarterback now and quick. It's a quick touchdown run for North Texas. Yo, what up, Marvin? <laughs> awesome. Sometimes you got to sit on the throne, man. It'd be like that. And nearly blocked the extra point. Wow. All right, we got Meacham in at quarterback now. We'll switch up the offense a little bit here, see, see if he can throw the ball, you know? 99 throw power, decent accuracy. Hayes returns the kick. Oh, my goodness, what a juke. I let him score. Hey, Eric, you know, you know, even a blind squirrel finds a nut, you know what I'm saying? And their quarterback, Roger Manigat, out for the game with elbow bursitis. All right, Meacham. 99 throw power. Oh, my goodness. What a catch by West, the true freshman.
Yeah, we're definitely, we're just treating this like a preseason game, basically, guys, so. See what everybody else can do on the field, you know, players that we haven't really seen yet, like Mitrum, I mean, he's a senior quarterback, so. Get him some playing time. And looks like he can run decently as well. All right, let's see what else we can do. That's right, Marvin. Broken clock is right twice a day. I got one in my living room right now, staring right at it. It's been uh, 9.49 and 45 seconds on that clock uh, for about two and a half, three years. It's awesome. That's with fresh batteries in it, too. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown, Kansas. The arm strength of Meacham is... Just ridiculously good. I love it. I mean, look at this throw power here. Oof. And Jenkins with a touchdown. In case you missed it, I, I put uh, Kale Pick on the bench for the rest of the game. He already has two rushing touchdowns, so... No sense in having our 97 overall quarterback uh, stay out there. With I mean, we're going to win this game. It's 28-7 with 221 left in the first quarter. So uh, He got a couple touchdowns. You know, he threw the ball once. And he's just going to ride the bench the rest of the game, basically, and let, uh, let Meacham go crazy in his first ever playing time. After this, we got number 21, Houston Cougars, in their stadium. Should be a fun one. Nice tackle. Come on, Hall Miller. I don't know why he did that stupid animation, but luckily the receiver dropped it. <laughs> hey, Pick is the starter. He's going to be the starter all season. Because um, I redshirted Bashir's. Because they were both they were both seniors, so Bashir's is going to be our guy next season. We're going to work on his passing uh, in the drills and get his passing better, so he can be a complete dual threat in season four of the dynasty. It's what we do, all right. We plan for the future here, and then after that, we have this true freshman on our team that we got. Uh, he'll be the starter in. Uh, the last season of the Dynasty, at least. And a big tackle by Williams. Oof. Alright, second down and 12. We might get to the second quarter here today. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. And pressure, and the quarterback is crushed. The outside linebacker blitz. All right, third down and 12. Screen, and that goes absolutely nowhere. I think that was Lee on the stop, and they're gonna have to punt it away. Nice tackle. Heck, we might even get to see the uh, third and fourth string quarterbacks here today as well, so. Stick around. 
see what happens. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. I got hit, and Smiley almost comes away with it somehow. Let's give it off to our redshirt senior transfer running back, Ander or Alexander, I mean, and see what number twenty-nine can do. And gets stuck on his own blockers and drop maybe a gain of one on the play. And it's a gain of two. We're going to go to Mitra. Chuck it up. We know he can bomb it. Look at the arm strength. Oh my goodness, Wes, the true freshman down to the 16-yard line. He is so good. Meets him over 100 yards passing. Just throw it up to him. One-on-one. -on -one. He's only 5'11", but he's coming down with the ball every time. I like it. Ah, nice deflection. Parad got caught up on the DB. Look at the arm strength. Oh my goodness. He got that out so quickly. And it's first and goal. Uh, it's finally the end of the first quarter. We're up 28 to 7 over the Mean Green. From the one. And that's a touchdown for the freshman Wilson. We have a stable of young running backs. All of them can get it done. Move west of the slot. I don't even think we need to, honestly. I mean, overall-wise, he is the best receiver we have. Extra point up and good. It's 35 to 7. I think West is close to 100 yards receiving in the game. And nice tackle by Edwards. Okay, option, force fumble, and it's going to be recovered by Hall Miller. That is our, I think, third force fumble and recovery of the game already, and it is. They just cannot hold on to the football. I mean, that is a 99 overall linebacker. Go for 100. I mean, we're definitely going to score a bunch. The sweep. Oh my goodness. The speed from Grievous. Touchdown. First of his career. Yeah, these fast running backs, man. They are so good. Look at that block. Oof. Getting all the young guys involved. Extra point up and good from the true freshman, Williams. And Ed 
Edwards with another tackle on kickoff. He's just too good. Having a 90 overall linebacker on kickoff is unfair. Not a good throw from the backup quarterback, Mansfield. He's three for six with six yards today. Trips left for the mean green. Play action. Instantly sacked. Tharp, his first sack of the season. And he's got four tackles in the game. Not a good time to uh, do play action. North Texas severely outmatched in every aspect of the game. Come on, Sims. Nice tackle. All right, we're going to toss it to the fullback. He's got 84 speed. This could be good. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Come on, fullback. And a first down run for the fullback. Yeah, they probably have the same exact playbook and everything, Marvin. They didn't really, from 09 to 11, they didn't really change too much in these games, to be honest. Alexander picking up nine yards. Play for the mean green, okay. Crowd's booing, even though we're up by five touchdowns. Top and brought in by McDougald to the five yard line, first and goal. And Meacham is just firing away right now. I like it. Fumble forward. Sick. There goes the perfect red zone percentage. That's unfortunate. It's alright. Let's try to get a safety now. See, Meacham not used to getting hit. They don't allow contact with the quarterback at practice. Aw, oh, face mask. Falling apart. Come back. It's happening. Hey, 
Oh, what a hit. Tharp taking heads off on the field. Mansfield just doubled his passing yards for the game with a six-yard completion. No way he caught that. Oh, my goodness. I deflected it, too. Wow. That's unfortunate. I mean, not for nothing. I mean, he's five for eight. He's efficient. Nice deflection by Holden Tharp, senior linebacker. Get him. And another forced fumble. We recovered it, but he's out of bounds. It's our fourth forced fumble. We're going crazy. Definitely going to put all the backups in for the second half. That's for sure. My goodness. We're just killing these guys out here. Tharp with another tackle. He's all over the field right now. He's got to have like six or seven tackles and a sack. Deflection. Force fumble. And that pass hits the backside of the receiver. Incomplete. Third down and six coming up for the Mean Green. Looking forward to our matchup with Houston after this in their house. Top 25 showdown. There's a sack. Who got him? Holden Tarp, seven tackles, two sacks in the game. He's going insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. And they're gonna punt it from the 33. No way. I'm going to. I'm gonna do uh, field goal safe, man. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Whoops! Not what I wanted. What you gonna do, North Texas? And they do punt it away. And in the end zone. Gonna let Meacham bomb it for the next minute. And then his day will be done as we go into the third quarter. Hurrah, Junior! Six yard pickup. Snaps the ball. And nice deflection. And one of the linemen injured his elbow on the play. Can't really afford that. You know, we don't have a lot of depth at linemen. Wide open. Yeah. 
Meacham closing in on 200 yards passing for the game. Taylor will return. Bruised elbow for the lineman. Oh, West finally drops one. That was a perfect throw from Meacham. And no blocking. All right. And holding. Wow. Zero blocking, but somehow is holding. Alrighty then. Okay. Just didn't want to throw it, I guess. Well, we're going to go with a Hail Mary with three seconds left. Hammer Jammer! What's going on, my brother? It do be a beating. Uh, yeah, it's a bit rough for uh, North Texas right now, but the next couple games should be pretty fun. We got number 21 Houston next, and then a rematch with Tennessee. So, should be some fun games, I think. And West drops another one, but that's the end of the first half, 42-7. As we go into the locker rooms here from Lawrence, Kansas. Let's get our third string quarterback in the game now. And see what he can do, I guess. Why not? Also, mass subs. Just second team everybody. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. All right, we'll get Webb in there. and uh, Jablonski. We'll get all these guys some playing time. This might be the only time those quarterbacks play in their entire career. North Texas shouldn't have done what they did. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Hammer. Mac Four, young linebacker with a tackle, and Jordan Fee, another one of the other young linebackers, injured his ankle on the play. All right. Let's see who we got on the field. We got Candle. We got James. Uh, I think that's a wide receiver. Feels bad. And Lundy at the other corner spot. And a huge hit and another forced fumble recovered by Kent. Oh my goodness. The backups are getting in on the, you know, the beast mode of our team right now. Just everybody in on the beast mode. Love it. Alright. See what we can do here on the ground. ISO. I mean, everybody is just feasting. Webb, we have seen Webb play a little bit in this series. Not a whole lot. Is one of the young running backs getting the carry. I think all the freshman running backs have a touchdown. Jordan Fee out for six weeks with a high ankle sprain. Luckily for us, he's not a starter. Uh, he's mainly a special teams guy. But it'd be like that sometimes. Here's Day, another one of the young running backs. He's going to get up to the 35. And I, I'm pretty sure Day is like 5th or 6th string running back. You got to lurk. I like when you lurk. It's nice. It lets me know you care. Let's go, Webb. Throw it. Oh, he threw it right to him. Well, Webb, uh, not as good as Meacham. You know? Feels really bad. North Texas getting hype on the sideline. I mean, he, wow, he did not lead the tight end whatsoever on that play. Right. 
All right, got to try to slow down this very high octane mean green offense. And another hit and drop by the receiver. I love that the crowd is just still, at least in like the 80s right now for Decibel. You know, it's getting up there. All up to 91, 94. With the backups in. Trying to keep the crowd hype. Let's go. And Meacham got sacked four times, but other than that, you know, throwing the ball, he was fantastic. And there's the sack on the quarterback. Who got him? Oh, no. Aaron Mansfield is hurt on the play. He was already their backup quarterback. The starter is out for the rest of this game. Now they'll be uh, digging deep in the roster to get their third string quarterback off the bench. Hopefully he's okay. Don't want to completely deplete North Texas here in week one. All right, Sims. Oh, we're not going to return? Yeah, we are. Dang it. Good tackle. All right, we're just going to let the coach pick for the rest of the game. Just test out all sorts of different plays with the backups. See what we can do. See what we can come up with. I mean, we'll just get sacked, I guess. I hit the button to throw it, and he just kept running forward. <laughs> Terrible. Zone read, why not? A little read option. And Webb gets a few yards. Brings up third and ten. S.E. Drag. Here we go. And again, crushed in the backfield. It's all right. We'll figure it out. This is Webb's quarter. We're going to give him the whole third quarter. And then we will give Jablonski the fourth quarter. I don't know why he handed that off to him. Should have just kept it. Had a lot of space on the right. And the third string quarterback now in the game for North Texas. And it is Cleveland. And a big hit from Lundy jars the ball loose. Another incomplete pass. The receiver is having a tough time. Just really well-timed hits. Mansfield out for one quarter with a sprained elbow. So both teams getting all their quarterbacks involved today. North Texas not by choice, though. Oh, my goodness. He's got to be careful or they're going to be on their fourth stringer. What a hit from Edwards. Jeez Louise. Pray for that man's soul. I think it was just stripped from his body. They're down at seven for the Mean Green offense. It's going to take off. And that's a face mask. Well, that gets the young defenders a chance to get some more action, though. It'd be like that.
Got Johnny Kent in there, Augustino, Sellers, Mac Four, filling in for Holden Tharp. And there's a nice deflection from the left outside linebacker. And we're going to blitz Mac Four here. Uh, Young is the other defensive end. And oh my goodness, another huge hit. This time by James. Free safety. Every hit has just been so vicious in this game. What? How? How do I not deflect that? Come on, Lundy. I was in a perfect spot to deflect it away. Unreal. How do you miss that, Lundy? Come on, man. I mean, I guess that's why you're second string, but... Extra point up and good for North Texas. We got 217 left in the third quarter. 41 yard touchdown pass from the third string quarterback Cleveland to Jones. Hayes, one of the freshman running backs, on for the kick return. And a good tackle from North Texas special teams. Quarterback slot option. This should be fun. And we definitely slowed down on offense since we put the backups in. It's all right. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, my goodness. Try to juke him out. That did not work. Power option. Come on, Webb. You got to show me something, buddy. If not, we're going to put Jablonski ahead of you on the depth chart. He wouldn't pitch it. Oh, my goodness. Third and 16 coming up. All right, well, you got to throw it. You got to throw the ball, Webb. Oh my goodness, Webb, you were just not very good, bud. That's his second pick. Threw it right to him. North Texas with the comeback. Look out. sure the receiver even saw the ball it was right by him hits the turf they're down to four and they get it with quick Oh my goodness. Not sure what James is doing there. The freshman free safety, but 
Should have had a pick. At least he deflected it away or hit the receiver and he dropped it at least. Get the sack. All right, third and goal from the four. They're going to run it, and they get it. Good run by Quick. Mean Green doing a heck of a job against our third and fourth string defenders. And our third string quarterback as well. Technically fourth string, but Bashir's is uh, redshirted this season. All right, Grievous. Oh, nice tackle. Right, here we go. Oh, nice tackle again. Dang. All right, Webb, you probably got one more play in you, buddy. Maybe two. After that, we're going with Jablonski. Get him. Oh, man. What a try. Lays out for it, and Webb has time for one more play in the day. See if he can make the throw here. Come on. Nice catch. McGriff to the 40. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. We're going to get the dub here. It's 42-21. We didn't score that quarter. Uh, North Texas put up a couple touchdowns, but the backups have been playing. Uh, we're experimenting with some quarterbacks that we haven't really seen on the field at all in this series. So just trying to get them some experience before they head off into the sunset and their college career is over. And Jablonski will be taking the field for the remainder of today's game. Jablonski. I think that's the only other quarterback, right? Yes, it is. All right, Jablonski. Sophomore. Uh, Webb is a redshirt junior. And Meacham, redshirt senior. So we got everybody on the field today. All right, Jablonski. What do you got for me, brother? Number 15. He's not fast. Man, Jablonski was slow as dirt. Lost bait on the play. Can he throw the football, though? That is the better question. Oh, my goodness. Nope. The answer is no, guys. He cannot. Well, at least we know that, you know, Pick can run our actual offense. You know, he's pretty good. And Meacham, if we do need a quarterback to throw the ball, Meacham is going to be that guy. And nice deflection by Lundy. There you go, buddy. He allowed a touchdown earlier. Makes a good play on that one, though. Cleveland, 3 for 8, 50 yards and a touchdown. We should see Manfield, uh, Man Mansfield back in the game. Whatever his name was. Should be back soon. Nice deflection. 
I think that was James, the freshman free safety that we got in the uh, in-season recruiting in Season 2. A four-star. Number 23. All right, it's third down at 10 for the third and fourth string defenders. Can they get the stop? No way he caught that. Oh, my goodness. Lundy, get up in the air and deflect it, my guy. This is why you sit on the bench. What is that? That was like zero effort. He didn't jump at all. He just put his arm to the side. Like, that's going to make a difference. Oh, my goodness. All right, first and 10. Just outside the 10-yard line. They could get a first down here. Nice tackle by Candle. No, they're not making a comeback, Eric. I'm literally just hanging out. We've had the backups in the entire second half. We're on our technically uh, fifth string quarterback. Just seeing what he can do. We're vibing. Let's go, Jenkins. Good, good deflection there, buddy. That's a wide receiver out there playing DB. Third down and 10. Get him. And we get the sack on Mansfield, who comes back in the game from injury. Young gets his second sack of the ball game. And they're going to kick the field goal. 37-yard try for Nichols. Kick is up, and it's good. 42-24 is the score. Are they going to try an onside kick? Yep. And they got it with Anthony. Oh, my goodness. I think that was our uh, our freshman tight end. Just lets it bounce right off of himself. Nice catch by Anthony at the sideline. Five-yard pickup. Good play by Candle. Another young defensive back. Quick moves the chains for the mean green. And there's another sack. It's time the linebacker. That's our sixth sack of the game. Creating some good pressure off the edges with the young linebacking core. And James can't get there. Bad angle by the freshman free safety. What is that animation that I just got? Oh my goodness. That was the most awkward <laughs> animation I've ever gotten. Oh my goodness. 
That was terrible. And they do not get the two point conversion. 42 30 is the score. Let's get the hands team back out there. Hopefully, they can actually, uh, you know, recover it this time. Get them some experience out there. Who was it? That was Parsons. Yeah, that's the uh, true freshman tight end that couldn't come away with it last time out. And this time, Wilson, the freshman halfback, recovers the onside kick try. Man, that kicker's pretty good at onside kicks. Not even gonna lie. And Hayes, the freshman halfback, gets the carry. He'll get two. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the game, enjoying seeing some younger guys out there. All the backups getting some action today. And Wilson gets six. They're down to two coming up. Ooh, little power option. Come on, Jablonski. Could be decent if the right side of the line actually... You know, hit somebody, maybe. See, we got uh, Hayes, who is actually one of the freshman running backs, uh, five-star player, in at fullback. And Wilson, the other four, I think he was a four-star uh, running back, is currently at tailback. And Jablonski doesn't pitch it. North Texas gets the stop on third down. And they're going to call a timeout. He wants to go for it. Well, not with that play. Alright, fourth and three. Not a field goal range, so. And Wilson doesn't get the first down. Good stop by the North Texas defense. Probably a triple option here, maybe? Yep. Triple option pass. You don't see that every day. Waiting for one of these young guys to make a play on defense. And a nice tackle by the outside linebacker. Third and five coming up for the Mean Green. Let's see if we get some pressure on the quarterback. And wide open over the middle is Jones. He'll get the first down up to the 46-yard line of Kansas. And quick will get two yards on the catch. Yeah, that's intercepted by Nack Four. Oh my goodness, what a hit by the lineman. And Nack Four with his first career INT. He's also got four tackles in the ballgame. And we're going to get 
flagged for a celebration there. Always nice to see the young guys make some plays. What's going on here? Uh, this is a bit of football is what's happening right now, Eric. First down at 25 coming up. And Grievous can't hang on to it, so that's one of the young freshman running backs. So he's definitely going to have to work on his uh, carry ability there. Because that could have been a really good, uh, really big game. Maybe even a touchdown. He is extremely fast. I think he's got 96 speed. And no blocking on the right side of the line. North Texas calls the time now. They're down 32 to go. And they want us to throw it. I'm not throwing the football. What's wrong with you? All right, we're just going to toss it out to Hayes, one of the young guys. And he's going to get it up to the 31-yard line. Nice little five-yard run for him. Chaos Driven in the chat. What's going on, my brother? you just in time. I mean, game two is about to start after this. We'll be taking on ranked Houston. They're in the top 25. We'll be in their stadium. Should be a fun one. But right now, this game, I mean, we were up 42 to 7, but we've been, I've started putting all the backups in. So, just letting them ball out, make some plays. Harrison on for the punt. Yeah, so, oh my goodness, that was a nice forced fumble. Eric, I'm not giving the game away. I have zero concern over this game. It was over in the first quarter. I'm literally just letting all the young guys ball out. Just have a good time. Oh, he's open. He's open. Now, they don't have any timeouts left either. They should do no huddle, right? Yep, they're going to try to get one more play here. And that'll do it. We went 42 to 30. So we had all, we literally played what four quarterbacks in this game. Every single one of our quarterbacks that is not redshirted this year got playing time in this one. We took Kale Pick out after he had two rushing touchdowns. And we let Meacham finish out the first half. We had Webb come in, play the third quarter, and Jablonski played the fourth quarter. We didn't score at all in the second half, but it's all right. Let the young guys on defense get some experience. Had all the backups in on offense as well. I mean, we had most of our yards uh, in the first <laughs> in the first quarter and a half, basically. So, I mean, pretty easy win. Uh, it apparently scared Eric, though, thinking that I was going to lose, but I was not concerned whatsoever. Yep, Kale Pick, 1 for 1, 18 yards. Meacham with a 99 throw power came in, 7 of 12, 192 yards, touchdown. Uh, I got sacked four times, though. Uh, but let's see. Webb and Jablonski uh, had a rough outing. This is their first ever playing. Well, I think Webb played a little bit. It was definitely Meacham and Jablonski's first time hitting the field. Uh, all the young running backs, I mean, they were getting the ball, and they were just getting ridiculous yards per carry. Some touchdowns here, one for Hayes, two for Kale Pick, one for Dwayne Grievous, and Jamal Wilson. So three freshman running backs uh, getting touchdowns in this one. I like it. Receiving, Josh West, the true freshman. Uh, he had three for 104 yards, really good debut from him as well. Uh, of course, he did not play in the second half either. So, Blocking, got Hawkinson with four, um, four pancakes. 
Tyler Edwards, eight tackles. Tharp had seven. And Carl James, true freshman, uh, four-star free safety had six tackles. Very nice. A bunch of tackles for a loss. Six sacks for the defense. Interception for Jeff Nackfour. First of his career. This is the first time that he hit the field in his career. We redshirted him last season. Lots of deflections. Look at all these forced fumbles. We had six forced fumbles in the game. And we recovered four of them. Johnny Kent got one. No field goals. A couple punts. Nothing crazy on returns. All right, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this week. And then we will go take on the Houston Cougars. Should be a fun one. I think they've lost twice, maybe three times in this whole series. I know they were undefeated on season one until their bowl game and got completely waxed by, I think, Georgia. And then last season, I'm pretty sure they won their conference, lost one game during the regular season, maybe, and they got crushed in their bowl game again. Feels bad. Kentucky beats Louisville. Colorado State beats Colorado. Oh, my goodness. All right, week two. All right, they did not play a game, so they are 21st in the country still. We'll be in their stadium. There's the matchup. We have an A-minus offense, B-plus defense. And they have a B-plus offense, C-plus defense, so... Uh, I think North Texas, yeah, they were all C's. But, I mean, as you can see by the box score, we didn't really do anything in the second half, but didn't really need to, so. All right, let me turn this on. We'll save it. And then we will get into uh, our second game of the night. It's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a minute. Brother man, good thing you finally got a phone of your own. Yeah, this should be a fun game. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing the offense of Houston. And then next we got Tennessee coming to our house in Lawrence, Kansas. Should be another good, uh, really good game. We beat them by a field goal last game. Uh, last was it the last regular season game? Last season? Yeah, I think so. Field goals time expired. That won it for us. That was a really good one. We had a lot of good games last season, actually. A lot of really close one-score games. All right, folks. Traveling to Houston to take on the 21st-ranked Cougars. Well, let's take a look around the country. We'll do our recruiting as well first. Let's hit it up. Let's go. All right, left tackle, Kennard Rollins from Converse, Texas. We are currently tied for second with Texas and TCU. This would be huge if we could beat Houston. We may even jump them uh, this week. So, should be fun. Cornerback Kevin, uh, was it Dobby? Doby? We'll go with Doby. Doby, Doby. 4-3-7 speed, A-plus field awareness. Not really good at catching the ball, but that's all right. We're number one on his list. I like it. Love to see it. And free safety Marcus Harrell from League City, Texas. We did get a four-star free safety Last in-season recruiting, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have multiple. We're tied with Texas, TCU, and Houston for the top spot on his list. Right guard, Doug Thomas. I'm going to desperately try to get him. Need the O-line help. And we are tied with four other schools for his top spot. And we got one, two, three. All right, tight end. We're number one with, I mean, a lot of schools there. He's from Dallas, Texas. He's got A-plus hands, so that would be a really good get for us. Center. We're getting there. We're moving up the list here. Uh, we're currently below Iowa and Missouri for this center. We we need him. Big time. And the right guard, Luke Bryan. We are second for him. So, not really much to do in recruiting. Let's take a look at the uh, country. Top 25 polls. Nebraska, Miami, USC, Bama, Georgia, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Virginia Tech, Oregon, Wisconsin. That's top 10. And we are still at 14. We didn't move. Had a nice little 42-30 win. And Houston sitting right there. 
They're on a one-year probation, but I think they just lose some scholarships if I'm remembering correctly, so it's really nothing too crazy. Heisman watch, see what we got going on there. And halfback from Nebraska jumps up in there. Jonathan Walker, redshirt sophomore. Had a touchdown against Southern Miss. Do, 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 do. See, and that face mask right there, guys. That's why we did not use Purdue for this dynasty. That was the only thing holding us back. Because they were the original top choice. But a blue face mask? I mean, come on now, EA. Come on, man. All right, strongest conferences. I think we are. We're third currently. That's that's a bit rough. All right, let's get it, guys. At number twenty-one, Houston. Let's go. Make sure my chat's working. It do be working. We're going to go ahead and uh, simulate the rest of the games here as well. Got quite a few, but... Bailey UCLA. So I like after our game that it just saves, you know? Had some really good games here. Oklahoma, UCU. Wow, that was a really close one. Pirates almost came away with the dub. BYU beats Hawaii. Birds versus the Cats, yes sir. Hail State! Bulldogs win it! Let's go! Arkansas crushes UAB. Cincinnati wins, no surprise there. Arizona, Columbia, wow. Real tough schedule you got there, guys. Penn State, Temple. Tulsa, Oklahoma State. Not even close. Miami, Ohio versus Ohio State. Michigan Notre Dame should be a fun one. And Michigan wins it. 35-17. Nevada just crushing people. Georgia Tech, North Carolina, and North Carolina wins easy. Tar Heels are dominating in this series right now. I like it. Washington gets crushed by LSU. They're 2 0. Iowa State beats Iowa. Iowa is our final game of the regular season, so hopefully they can uh, they can rebound after that game. And just get good. You know what I'm saying? Syracuse Mid Tennessee State. The Orangemen win that one. Akron Auburn, not even gonna be close. Yep, 56-7. Western Michigan, Sanford, 59-16, Howard and Kentucky. 35-3. Clemson. Missouri State. Remember, we put up over 100 points on them, I believe, in the FCS Dynasty with Jacksonville. All right, three games left to simulate. Uh, Northern Illinois wins. Idaho, Louisiana Tech. Not even close. Miami at Boston College. And Miami wins it, 36-21. All right, here we are. Number 21, Houston, hosting the 14th-ranked Kansas Jayhawks on national television. There's the matchup again. Uh, we have number one rush defense, only one yard allowed in that game. But our backup defense allowed quite a few passing yards. So, yeah, let's get it. I'm ready. We got a couple quarterbacks with pretty good overalls. Hopefully our less than stellar secondary can hold up in this game. But the front seven should create uh, enough havoc up front to, you know, make the quarterback, uh, you know, make some mistakes in this game, hopefully. Let's go, boys! I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Curb Street. We've got rainy conditions today for our game with the Kansas Jayhawks and the Houston Cougars. Both 
hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. And here come the Cougars. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, sir? Kansas has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. Oh, there's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. Rock, Rock, Payhawk. Kansas is going to win. All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. Let's go, boys! I'm ready. I'm ready. And you know what? I'm going to receive the ball again because... You know, we're just going to do it. All right, we're going to get the ball. That Lopez is a mountain of a man. What in tarnation is going on here? No, not visual. Get it together. Come on, Optimus. Figure it out. All right, here we go. Strap yourselves in, boys. Hayes on for the return. Five yards deep. Taking it out, of course. Got to do it. Yeah, it's face mask. All right. Uh, yeah, we accept those. All right. Whoops. No, I don't want the coach to pick. Go Jayhawks! Nice block. Good pitch. Hayes off to the races. Nice stiff arm. And Hayes is gone. Oh my goodness. This is exactly how we started the last game. We have so much speed at halfback. Texas beats UTEP. The speed that we have at running back right now, just it might not be fair, guys. I cannot wait until Big 12 play. I think the real test, like the first test of the season is going to be Tennessee, of course. I mean, Houston, uh, they have a high-powered offense, naturally. But defense, not so much. And it's 7 nothing. What are we, 15, 14 seconds into the game. Even quicker than the last game. That's how you start the game. You get all the momentum on the first play. And let your defense come out and do work. Uh oh. Nice tackle. All right. Bean is the quarterback, and he is hit, and uh, somehow he threw the ball. I, I don't know how, but it's incomplete. 90 overall quarterback. Trips left. And quarterback's going to take off. Bouncing around. Nice tackle by Tharp. And third down three coming up. Might have to uh, QB spy today. Let's go with Luke. Quarterback spy. Come on, boys. They're down at three. Get him. Nice tackle. And that was Edwards, the sophomore.
Sims back to return it from his own 22. And gets it up to around the 30, maybe the 29. Oh my goodness. Good effort by Hayes. Maybe a yard. Not sure why the number two tight end is the fullback on this formation. I definitely did not put him there. And Alexander gets three. Third down and seven coming up. the read option. Oh, dang it. Alright, so a good stop for the defense for Houston. Harrison on for his second punt of the season, I think. I think he only had one last week. The tackle by McDonald. Play action. Nice play by Hawks. That saved the touchdown. Actually surprised that he deflected it. And Williams. Oh, fumble! Recovered by Hawks. Oh my goodness, two good plays in a row for the safety. Not sure who forced that. Let's see if we get a replay on it. That was Lavelle Luke that forced it. We don't get the replay though. Feels bad. Fullback dive. Oh, well, that's actually... Is that a fullback? It might be. I don't even know anymore. We got so many new young guys on the offense, I just can't keep my head straight on them. Oh, pick, hello? Pick? Please pitch the ball. All right, they're down at eight now. That's that's what feels bad. All right, we got the corner on the right. Got to be careful here. As long as we get a few yards, I think we can kick a field goal. Let's we'll try one. Alexander, the redshirt senior. He's down the sideline. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Not our fastest running back, but he's still pretty fast. That's his first touchdown of the season. First as a Jayhawk. I can't even remember where he transferred from. That might have been TCU. He left their stable of running backs to come lead ours. Extra point. Oh my goodness, that was almost blocked. But it's 14 to nothing. Alright, let's boot it. Francis, just our designated kickoff guy. Our backup kicker. He was a starting kicker last year. Oh, this guy's quick. Oh, I think that's their running back. All right, from the 37-yard line. See if Houston can 
do a little better holding on to the football this time around. And they can't. Drop pass. And Hawks was about to get cooked on that play. Got Hawks and Lee back there. And we get the sack on Bean. That was Marshall. First of the game. Third down and 16. And another sack. Oh my goodness. Are they just not blocking Marshall? He ran right by him. He just used his speed. Goodness gracious. Loss of nine. They're obviously going to punt the ball away from their own 22-yard line. Massey on for the punt. Standing back at his own seven-yard line. Sims on the 41. Sims down the sideline. And taken down at the 20. Oh my goodness, the last line of defense brings him down. I was so excited. I thought we were going to have a punt return touchdown. Just one guy needed to be blocked there. All right, see what we can do here. First and 10 from the 19. And Parsons stops his route. That should have been a touchdown. Just stopped dead in his tracks. That's that's rough. All right, second out of ten now, and Alexander will get a few yards. They're down in seven. From the 16. Up top. And it's caught by Trent Smiley. The tight end. Touchdown. Jayhawks. Let's go. Rock Chalk Jayhawk, baby. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I mean, he's just so much bigger than those DBs. It's not even fair. Big mismatch in the end zone. It's alright. We'll take the penalty. It's fine. Celebrate touchdowns. Come on. Extra point from Willie Williams. Up and good. Let's go. 21 0 here in the first quarter. See, for this game, Houston a lot better than North Texas, so we're going to keep our starters in for probably like three quarters if we got a big lead. Uh oh. Nice tackle by the freshman, James. Making his name known on special teams. Love to see it. See the birds are out here skinning cats. We're having a good time, you know. Just pecking at their corpses, you know. Come on, Hawks. Hawks, you got torched, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's the only worry that I have this season with our entire team. You know, is, is the secondary going to be able to hold up against better opposition? And right now, this season so far, I mean, the defense, like the back, the back half of the team, I mean, it, it's been a bit rough. Let's be honest. Even the starters, you know, they're allowing some big plays like that. Not good. It was a good tackle by Tharp. But I mean, the front seven is so solid. Probably the best front seven we've had uh, in any of the series on the channel, to be honest. But maybe one of the weakest secondaries as well, so... 
front seven is just going to have to do more and just win us the games, you know? There we go. Is the sack broken? Wide open. Got to make that sack. Let's see who missed it. I didn't even see the number on him. That was... Uh, Meston, the linebacker, who took over for Johnson's spot, who went crazy last season with, uh, I think, 15 sacks. Tharp blocks it. And we can't recover. Tharp has so many blocks. And with that block, it is now 21 to 6. I've lost count how many blocks he has. At the end of his career, we're going to have to, like when he graduates or goes pro, we're going to have to make sure we look at his stats and see what he's done. Let's go, Grievous. I mean, I, I definitely spun right there, but he just fell down. Whoops. There we go. All right. First and 10 from the 21. And Kale Pick gonna get eight, maybe nine yards. Marvin, I think every single block kick is a better outcome than your block kick, all right? <laughs> you got literally worst case scenario in that video. And Alexander moving the chains up to the 36 yard line. He's got 45 yards and a touchdown in the game. I want to block a field goal or an extra point and return it. You know, I haven't had that opportunity yet. And I, I really want it. I need it now. Right now. All right, what do we want to run here? Uh, nothing, because the first quarter is going to be over. We're going into the second up top, 21-6 to over the 21st ranked Houston Cougars here in Houston. Keep trying to get the uh, running backs involved because they're all so good. I think it might be the best running back room we've ever had on the channel as well. Hey, Alexander, you literally just bounced away from the ball, buddy. And that was Lopez, the mountain, who dove on the fumble. Yeah, we've still got some room to improve on the O-line. That's that's 100% fact. O-line, secondary. Big needs. That's why we're going after them pretty heavy in uh, recruiting. Hawks gets burnt like toast by Morrow. And Houston making it a one-score game again if they get the extra point. Really good throw from Bean. And Meston, I don't know where the heck he was diving to. But he whiffed big time on that play. No block this time. It's 21-13 here in the second. Wow, Bama with the uh, real tough schedule taking on Western Kentucky. I mean, we have a stacked schedule. The only easy win that we put on here is North Texas. Here we go, Grievous. Nice return up to the 28. Yeah, for non-conference games, I scheduled... North Texas, Houston, uh, Tennessee is next right after this game, so stick around for that one. That's a home game for us. And uh, Iowa for our last regular season game of the year. So that's going to be a really tough contest. I know they just lost to Iowa State, unfortunately. And Cal Pick gets about five yards. And we also play Oklahoma and Texas during the regular season, so 
It is a stacked schedule. Guys, are we going to block, maybe, or what? What are we doing? They're down at four. And that's the first down for Kale Pick up to the 45. Parker Thomas, what up, Parker? What's going on, brother? Nice broken tackle by Hayes. Too bad there was a lot of pressure in the backfield and a loss of one. What did you miss? Oh, uh, you missed the North Texas game, but it wasn't really that crazy. I mean, uh, we took out our starting quarterback after two touchdowns, and we ended up coasting to that win, 42-30. to but the backups were in for the entire second half, so we were just chilling. That's all you missed. All right, here we go. Second down and six. Nice pitch. And, oh my goodness. West, you definitely have to work on your block in there, young fella. Only a two-yard pickup. Third down and four coming up. Caught by Jenkins. First down, Kansas. Look at that. Marvin actually in the chat right now uh, when a bot appears. <laughs> I think the last like four times that it happened, you were away from your computer every time. Extremely unfortunate. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Just saved my own life. Let's go, Jenkins. Okay. Inside the 25, I like that. It's still nice. Do, 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 do. And wide open Jenkins, touchdown Kansas. Pick out here just throwing laser beams. That was a pretty throw. And really good blocking by the O-line up front. Give him pick plenty of time. Jenkins just sat in the soft spot in the zone. Wide open. Gotta have snacks when it's client time. Absolutely. What are you snacking on today, Marvin? What do you got, buddy? Twenty-eight thirteen is the score. You know, I just have a feeling like all all day today in the in the stream, I'm just I just have no worries about our team. You know, I'm just so relaxed, just nonchalant about everything right now. That's a good feeling. Get him, Edwards! Nice tackle at the twenty-five yard line. And the Cougar offense will take the field again. You're getting WWE 2K22 for your Xbox One? Nice. Sounds like fun. If I had a wrestling game, I would just do nothing but have... I mean, I would just play as Stone Cold Steve Austin 24-7. That's just all I would do. I don't even care about anybody else. Don't care. Southwestern style checks mix. Yeah, that, that does sound pretty good right now, to be honest. And this running back, or yeah, running back. This quarterback can run. All right, let's try, let's go to the nickel. I don't want to take 
the linebackers off the field. Though. That's the problem. That's why I want to stick to 3-4 because they're all so good. I mean, regular checks mix is uh, pretty good as well. That, that slaps. Come on, boys. Get him. Fumble! And recovered by Morrow, who had the touchdown. Like creating your own characters in wrestling games? I mean, that's fun, too, but it's like, when I think wrestling... I think Stone Cold Steve Austin, all right? I just, I have to play as him. I have to. There's nothing better than hitting some old lady with a stunner. You know what I'm saying? What a catch by Barnes. Goodness gracious. McDonald, uh, you're not that good. Sorry. See me playing the older WWE games? Like, here comes the pain. Oh, man, the old, like, the N64 wrestling games, me and my brother, uh, I, I don't think he's in the chat anymore, but Chaos... Uh, him and I used to play them all the time, and then PlayStation 1 wrestling games. I mean, I was always Stone Cold Steve Austin, though, you know. He's just the best. Like, you just, you can't change my mind about it. There's a sack for the defense, and that was Meston, and Brian Bean has injured his chest on the play. That's the quarterback for the Cougars. Uh, luckily for them, their backup quarterback is only one overall less than him. So, you know. I think they'll be all right. But hopefully, Bean is okay and can return to the Cougars this season. Second to go from the 10. And Fuller in a quarterback. Wow, where is the defense? Lee, what is going on? Come on, Lee. Come on. I mean, he's supposed to cover the deep half. And, uh, well... He didn't. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give up a lot of points this season, a lot of yards, I think. We're definitely not going to have a top 25 defense, I'm pretty sure. But the good thing is our offense is extremely electric. So I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. It's like typical Big 12 football, you know? It's going to be great. All right, 28-20. Less than two to go in the first half. And that's going to go out of bounds. That's a touchback, though, because it went through the side of the end zone. Let's go with a sweep to Hayes. If he can get to the outside, he could be gone. Actually, we're going to switch it up. Go left side with Grievous, who is also extremely fast, but no blocking. I mean, there was blocking, they just didn't hold for long enough. Here we go. Up top. Come on, West. Oh, he picked it off. Oh, West with a forced fumble. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's still their ball, right? Or is it my ball? Whose ball is it? What's happening right now? Did he recover that inbounds? He did. Okay. I was lost in the sauce. Good play by Houston. Good play by West, though. Uh, forcing the fumble. Making a nice little play for himself. There you go, Lee. I just went for the SWAT. All right, I don't want to go for the pick and uh, completely whiff and have them get an easy completion. Because I'm sick and tired of it. Second out of 10. For the 21st ranked Houston Cougars. And another nice deflection. That time Holden Tharp, the senior outside linebacker, making the play. Not sure if this quarterback can run, but we're going to have a quarterback spy on him anyway here in 3rd and 10. You got to make that play. That was McDonald again getting just absolutely torched. Touchdown, Houston. Let's 
going to be a barn burner. All right, here we go. Going for the two points. I got stuck. And Hawks cannot make the play. Yeah, this secondary is just rough, guys. It's all right. They'll make some plays during the season. All right, we're all tied up. 118 to go in the first half. Another long touchdown pass for the Cougs. And here is the freshman halfback, Garibas. On for the return, and we get no blocking. You had one job, my guy. My goodness, where's the blocking, guys? And they get the ball to start the third quarter, so let's try to get down here, get get some points on the board before halftime. And a huge hit. My goodness, I don't know how he caught me that quickly. going to do here? Well, not those plays, that's for sure. Alright, they're down and eight. And Pick going to get the first down. Easy. Here we go. And McDougal with a catch at the 40. Come on, McDougal. I mean, you definitely ran out of bounds. Wow, they caught they counted that as a catch? There ain't no way. He went out of bounds on his own. I don't even think he reestablished himself. Wow, no review or anything. Okay. I mean, I'll take it, you know. And then I just died. Top Jenkins again down inside the five. Where is Jenkins coming from right now? What is going on? Four catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown right now. Good grief. Up top to the running back. Oh, just overthrown. All right, how many timeouts we got left here? We got two timeouts. Alexander in at running back. And drop at the one, or the two yard line rather. Third and goal from the two. Here we go. Pitch it out. Alexander, touchdown. Jayhawks with seven seconds left. Very good drive to end the first half. Really did not want to kick a field goal there.
And it is 35-28 with seven seconds left. Ten play, 81-yard touchdown drive. Kick that short. Good tackle by Edwards. They got five seconds left. Wish that play or that kick would have went a little bit farther, to be honest. And a big hit from Tharp as time expires. And we go into the locker rooms up 35 28 here in Houston over the 21st ranked Houston Cougars as we look to go 2 0. an exciting game so far a lot of big plays you know realistic big 12 football experience I think and a huge tackle by Edwards let's go I don't think we ever got the update on Bean but the number two quarterback still in the game for Houston And that pass sails over the head of the receiver. Second down, coming up. Trying to get some pressure on this guy, but we're just not getting anybody through. I'm going to try to send Tharp on the blitz this time from the left. Yeah, wide open over the middle. That's a face mask. That's right, Marvin. Defense optional, buddy. We've had all sorts of different types of games on the on this series too, like a lot of low-scoring, close games, hard-fought, and some high-scoring affairs as well. Nice play by McDonald. Probably the first time I've said that in his career. Third, or second down and 11, rather. And yeah, nice tackle by Lavelle Luke. Let's go. Third down and five. Also a realistic 90s whack ops uh, experience too. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. The whack in the 90s was insane. Good tackle by Meston. And we get the stop. It's fourth down. They're going to go for it though. Let's go Thunder Green. Blitz three linebackers. We're actually going to get uh, Luke on a spy. Come on, boys. Let's go. This is a big play. Come on. Get off the guy. And they get the first down. Good run by Knackford. We had three defenders there. Just couldn't stop him before the marker. And a beating with 100 points scored. Don't forget. You can never forget. RIP, Missouri State. R.I.P. Never took the uh, foot off the gas pedal that day. Just couldn't do it. And almost deflected, or almost picked off off the deflection from Meston. Counted it as a drop pass, but he definitely got his hand in there. Second down and ten. And we did crush the quarterback on the play. Uh, Lavelle Luke, I believe. 
Or was it? No, it was uh, Marshall. Oh, my goodness. Marshall has been just crushing quarterbacks this season. I know it's early, but two games in a row, he's just destroying people. They're down to 10. For number 21, Houston. Come on, Lee. And he's just not fast enough. Nice catch by Morrow. Just laying out for it. First and goal coming up for Houston. I had to switch on there, and he's just he just does not have the speed to cover that much ground, unfortunately. And there's a sack on the quarterback. Let's go. And that was Meston with the sack. Lost a four on the play. And they're going to hand it off. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. That was uh, Williams. Yes, sir. Huge hit. Just an absolutely huge hit by the D-line. Get him out of here. Alright, big play. Third and goal from the seven. And we get the sack again. Holden Tharp unblocked. His third sack of the year. Yeah, that was a big one. They're going to have to settle for a field goal try now. Let's we'll see if Tharp can get back there and block it. And we cannot block it. Kick is up and good. And they're going to decline and keep the points. Because that's logical. 35-31 is the score. Less than three to go in the third quarter. 13 plays, 63-yard drive. Three minutes off the clock. In comes Hayes, the freshman running back for the kick return. And my goodness. First contact, we get crushed every time. Pretty even in yards so far in the game. Both teams are on the uh, 275 mark. Nice blocking. Kale Pick going to move the chains. Oh, come on. Wilson, seriously? Oh, man. These young running backs, thats I guess that's a risk that we take by having them on the field, but they need to figure it out, and they need to do it fast before we get into Big 12 action. One of them fumbled last game as well. And he catches that in triple coverage. Not sure what we're doing back there, boys. Edwards on the tackle. Only a pickup of two on the play. recovery not sure who forced it might have been uh, Holden Tharp no it was actually Lee that forced it okay I like it let's go let's get a good drive going now right. 
And Alexander, stiff arms the defender, gets up to maybe the five-yard line. Second down and six. Here we go, good blocking, pitch it out. Alexander down the sideline up to the 23. Still very even in pretty much every category here. Get that block. Didn't get it, but Kale Pick is to the outside. And he might have the speed, and he does. Kale Pick inside the 20. Oh, my goodness. The safety comes all the way from the other side of the field to save the touchdown inside the 10. Man, oh, man. What a run from the quarterback. That safety ran all the way from Narnia to save the touchdown. Quarterback is exhausted, of course. From the seven yard line. And the fullback hit zero people on the play. Wilson, eight tackles. That was horrendous blocking. All right, second to go from the 10. Nice blocking, Kale Pick. Breaking a tackle and up to around the three yard line. Third and goal from the four, just inside the four yard line. We're gonna hand it to Alexander and he fumbles! And Lopez recovers his second of the game. The redshirt senior coughs it up this time. Defenses came to play in the third quarter. How about that, guys? What the heck? And they are at the one and a half yard line now. We have four turnovers. They have two. Play action. He's wide open. Oh my goodness, he just dropped a touchdown. Wow. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. 35-31. We've got the lead here in Houston. We should have just gave up a touchdown on that last play. That was really fortunate for us. And Haw Miller drags him down at the one. Third and 11. Oh my goodness, that was nearly a safety. Pierre Moss in the chat. What up, Pierre? Oh, the deflection from Tharp. Lays out for it. Let's go for a block. Let's go. Can we see our first ever block punt? Let's get it. We'll let the computer do all of it. Let's go, boys. Block it. Aw, oh, dang it. I don't know why we can never get in there. Let's go, Sims. Sims up the right sideline. Break a tackle is inside the 30. Great field position to start this drive. Just chilling, Pierre. I like it. Just vibing out. Having a good old time. Kale Pick looking to throw it. He's got Parsons. That's the freshman tight end. And he's got his first career catch and touchdown. Let's go. 
Extend the lead. Man, he is just a big, big man. He's got to be our biggest player on offense. Such a big target for Pick to throw to. Celebrate good times. Come on. Willie Williams uh, for the extra point. 35-yard attempt. Kick is up. Kick is good. All right, 42-31 now. Two-score ball game. Parsons said, hands off me, peasant. Pretty much. That was a really strong touchdown. Francis boots it deep. Not really deep, but, you know, deep enough, I guess. Nice tackle by Edwards. Let's go. Houston down 11 points with 5.22 to go from their own 31-yard line. And it was nearly picked off. That would have been a touchdown for Holden Tharp. Man, they got lucky. Quarterback draw. Get him. All right, third down of four for the Cougs. Oh, my goodness. What a spin move that was. And he gets the first down. Wow. That was insane. I had the perfect call and everything. Blitzed them, got pressure on there, and just couldn't make the play, unfortunately. And there's another first down for Houston inside Jayhawk territory. Not sure how Hall Miller is pretty much in the zone. Hasn't done a whole lot. See, that should have been a pick, but he didn't jump. Just threw his hands up towards his face, and that was it. I'm right there to make plays with these guys. It's just not happening. They're just not that great. Four minutes left in the game. Come on, Hall Miller. Make the play, man. Come on. All right, let's go 5-2. There you go, Hall Miller. Nice tackle, at least, at the line of scrimmage. I'll take that. Let's go with the same play. Cover two. Five two. Get there. Oh, my goodness. Hawks, please. I'm begging you, man. Please make the play. He's right there for it. How does he not make a play on that ball? Dang it all to heck, man. I'll tell you what. All right, they're going to go for two points. That'll make it a three-point ball game if they get it. And they do not get it. 
Holden Tharp swats it to the ground. Nope, we got ourselves a five-point ball game now. And Grievous, seven yards deep. And decent return, I guess, up to the 20. 21-yard line, excuse me. Okay, Hayes, good run. He's got 65 yards and a tutty in this game. Try to run this clock down as much as we can. I mean, we keep getting first downs. You know, we can end it right here on this drive. I would love for them to not get the ball back at all. And this is probably what our defense is going to allow every game. You know, 400 yards, 35 or more points. And Alexander a yard shy of the sticks. It's going to be a tough play. Third and one. Let's go fullback. Fullback blast. We get this first down, they're going to have to start calling all their timeouts. See how loud their crowd can get. This is 70s. It's actually pretty... Oh, there's 83. I was going to say, that's a disappointing thing right there. If they can't get in the 80s. As a top 25 school. And there's the fullback. First down. And there's the first timeout for Houston. Please don't spike the ball. Please don't. I'm begging you, baby. Don't do it. Alright. Let's do it. Parsons, the tight end, in there at fullback on this play and oh my goodness he just saved my life still lost three yards 11 tackles for Wilson in the ball game from his linebacker spot Houston with one timeout left go get that block let's go Kale pick to the outside I don't know if he's got the speed. And he does stay in bounds. Let's go. 47-yard scamper for the quarterback. No, you're not spiking the ball, my guy. Please stop it. Look at that pancake block. Wow. He's dead. And they still do have one timeout left, so we're just going to down it, really. That's all we're doing. We're not risking it for the biscuit here. There will be no biscuit to be had. On the clock all the way down, have them call that final timeout and just kneel it a couple more times and walk out of here. Uh, with a really good top 25 win over a pretty solid Houston squad. We're going to put the other uh, senior quarterback in here. Meacham. Let him down it. You know, like all the NFL teams do. Just get their uh, their old quarterback in there to <laughs> to kneel down on it. Those are their stats for the season. Pick player of the game for Kansas. Morrow, player of the game for Houston. Yes, Lee. We're going to throw it. What? 
What kind of ask Corso thing is that? What do you mean? We just down it one more time and get out of here with a win. 42 number of the day, back-to-back -back games? I guess so. I like it. Solid number. That was my first, um, I think that was my first number in football. Well, it was at least my favorite number when I was younger. But this is the final play of action here in Houston. 42-37 win. Uh, pretty good top 25 victory for us as we head into our home game against the Tennessee Volunteers. Nice little rematch from last season. We won it on a walk-off field goal, if I remember correctly. I just know it was a field goal that won the game. And it was a really hard fall win. Well, there it is. We are 2-0 to start the season. Houston, 0-1. Yeah, Meacham, go celebrate, buddy. You knelt the ball down twice. Legendary stats. You'd love to see it. All right. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. We had 460 yards of offense, 301 on the ground, 159 through the air. Uh, it's nice being able to actually throw the football a little bit. Uh, we only got sacked once. We were 70% on third down. We did fumble the ball three times and lost all of them, though. That is very disappointing. We should have had... Uh, this should have been a bigger win, I think. Uh, I bigger gap in the victory margin but you know things happen in life apparently so here we are pick eight for 11 three touchdowns only one pick along with 40 he also had 163 yards uh steven alexander two touchdowns on the ground dan hayes with a touchdown as well alexander and pick each with fumbles pick with two Receiving, Tony Jenkins, just a standout performance from him. He was catching everything thrown his way. Uh, McDougal, that two for 45. Parsons, Smiley. And freshman tight end getting his first career touchdown. He is 6'6", 221 pounds. That is a big, big man. O-line doing pretty decent. Tyler Edwards, eight tackles. This guy is a monster. Meston, Hawks, and Tharp all with four. Ten, uh, ten tackles for a loss for the defense in total. And five sacks. Meston, Marshall each had two. Tharp with one. No picks. We had six deflections. Three force fumbles. Taylor Lee, Josh West, the freshman wide receiver. And Lavelle Luke. Two recoveries for Brandon Hawks. In the right place at the right time. Holding Tharp with a block. No field goals. One punt for 40. 38-yard uh, punt return for James Sims. And that is it. Let's go ahead. Simulate into our next game against the Tennessee Volunteers. Let's go! That'll be the final game of the night. Hopefully we can uh, end the night undefeated, you know? I hope we can. It's going to be a fun game, I think. I mean, the last contest we had against them last season was awesome. So, hopefully we can uh, just repeat that, you know? I'm looking forward to the challenge. All right, we're going to save it real quick. We did move up one spot to number 13 in the country. So there's that, I guess. That means somebody had to have lost in front of us, I think. Or unless they just moved us up because we beat a ranked school. I'm not sure. Watch New Hampshire beat Minnesota. I love seeing the FCS teams upset the FBS teams in this game. And all the college games, really. Hawkeyes lose a tough home game against Iowa State, so one of our future opponents in the season loses in week two. 
And we are now in week three. Let's take a look at our recruiting. See what's happening out there. You know what I'm saying? Moved up on the free safety. We're number one right now. We overtook Texas. And for the right guard, we are number one as well. Let's go. That's huge if we can get him. He's a big man. 6'3", 305. Any more movement? We're number one on the center's list. Let's go. We desperately need these O linemen. Here at Anderson, three-star tight end. We're still number one for him. So recruiting is looking pretty crispy, guys. And let's see. We haven't moved down at all. So, yeah. Left tackle. I think we can still get him. All right, well, that's it for recruiting. Take a look at the top 25, then we'll get into today's game. USC gets one first place vote. They haven't even played a game yet. What in tarnation is going on here? And we did move up because somebody lost. The number 12 team lost. That was Iowa. Okay, that makes sense. And Houston out of the polls. They're at 26 now after losing to us. Highs in the watch list. A little bit of movement here. Quarterback for Oregon is on the list now at number five. North Carolina, they beat Georgia Tech. Tar Heels are just cruising, man. It's so fun to see our other, um, our other dynasty schools, you know, performing well in other dynasties. It's really cool. I like it. Let's take a look at the coach report card, and we will get into today's game. Let's see. Well, win Big 12, finish season top 10, play in a major bowl. You know, we're really going to try, guys. We're really trying. We're on a two-game winning streak right now. 7-3 versus top 25. 2-2 two two versus rivals. We have to beat K-State this season. There's no excuse. We have to beat them. All right. Let's do it. Tennessee, Kansas, now. Tennessee, 1-0 on the year. Number 8 offense, number 47 defense. Our defense is 75th. We cannot stop the pass to save our lives. But our offense will keep us in pretty much every game as we score 42 points a game. And overalls for offense, defense, and total overall, uh, dead even with Tennessee. Let's get it. Job security's bar is full. Always nice. Absolutely. Can't be losing the job. Can't do it. It helps that we're 22 and 7. It really does. Iowa beats Alabama State. I'm so surprised. Miami beats K State by 4. And here we go. Let's get it. If you haven't already, please slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you do. And join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Alright, I really am looking forward to this game. As soon as I put them on the schedule, you know. It's such a good uh, game that we had last season. So it's going to be a really great rematch, I think. Although our offense, our offense is completely different with all the speed that we acquired in recruiting. So, who knows? We might have a better time on offense this year. But Tennessee is fast. It's a picture perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Kansas Jayhawks. We're ready to bring you what should be one intense football game. And here come the Jayhawks. The Volunteers. Believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Kansas has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. The thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. These guys are going to bring their A game today. Rock, Jack, Jayhawk. Kansas is going to win. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. 
Jordan Dargan in the chat. What up, Jordan? Welcome. All right, let's see what they do to start the game. They are going to receive it. So this is the first game of the year that we do not receive the ball first to start. Let's go ahead and turn the audio off so we cannot hear the commentary. And I'll make sure that my quarterback is actually starting. Okay, he is. All right, bet. Let's go. Kansas. Tennessee. Now, let's go. Let's get it. Sophomore kicker Francis. Gets us underway. Kicks it to about the seven-yard line. And nice tackle. All right, defense. Let's get it, boys. Need a good performance here. Crowd going crazy. Pullback dive. And he's making everybody miss. What a run from the fullback. Lavelle Luke with the tackle. Mike Allstott out here running everybody over. For us, uh, you hate to see it. For them, uh, that was nice. Wish my fullback could play like that. Counter. Get him. Got to try to get some pressure a little bit faster than that. We can't let them get into the second level because, I mean, it's Tennessee. They have a lot of talent, a lot of speed. Second down and six. They're going to go play action. Wide open, but overthrows his target. And even the receiver laid out for it, too. Just still couldn't get there. All right, third down and six. And wide open is high, and he's going to take it to the house because we have no speed on that side of the field. Touchdown, Volunteers. Not the start we wanted, that's for sure. Mizzou puts up 65 points. Iowa rebounds, gets a win. McDonald, what are you doing, my guy? Just a simple catch and run for high. 41 yard. Touchdown pass. That's unfortunate. That's right. We got Holden Tharp, and he's going to block the extra point. Nope. Not that time. This is going to be a good one. Hope you got snacks and drinks, folks. Strap yourselves in. Four plays, 69 yards for the culture. And a touchdown. Hayes looking to return the kickoff from the goal line. And up past the 20 to the 24. Let's see what our offense can do to start. We're actually 22 and seven. Of course, it counts the uh, spring game as a as a win. Up top, pick going deep. Oh, Hayes comes down with it. The freshman. Oh my goodness, a 51 yard bomb. That was pretty. Pick. I didn't know you had the arm strength for that. So happy that freshman caught it. Alright, first and ten from the 26-yard line, just like that. Pick is doing pretty decent throwing the football this season so far. He's only thrown it 13 times, but it's been pretty efficient, I think. Oh, the freshman, he stopped his route for a split second, but still comes away with the catch. And pick with 69 yards passing, not two completions. First and goal. I don't think Tennessee expected us to come out throwing the football. And it's working for us. At the 8-yard line. And my fullback let me get murdered. 
Extremely unfortunate, I must say. All right, let's see what we can do here. Power T from the nine. Up top to the freshman tight end, his second catch and his second touchdown. We're one point away from tying it. Man, he's looking like Jimmy Graham out there. Just in the red zone, throw it to him. He'll get it. He will get you points. At 6'6", 200 plus pounds, I would hope so. And he's only 18 years old. How about Kale Pick on that drive? Three for three. 77 yards and a touchdown. Extra point. Up and good. Seven all in the first quarter. Francis kicks it deep. And that was a fake. I don't know why. They should have handed it off. Sometimes the AI is just so weird with that. It's like they hand it off when they should keep it, and they keep it when they should hand it off sometimes. It's really weird. Let's go defense. And Gant with the catch. Nice tackle by Lee just to pick up a three yards. Shotgun set. Their fullback is in there, so look out for a handoff to him. Man, I could not see where that guy was. Luckily, made a nice tackle on him. Let's make pick four for four so we can get a Wendy sponsorship. I like it. I'll try my best. First and ten for Tennessee. And we get the pressure and the sack. Let's go. Lavelle Luke with the sack is first on the season. He hasn't really had a whole lot of tackles this year, surprisingly. Uh, Edwards, the other middle linebacker, has been going crazy. Loss of four on the sack. I can't see. And it's picked off. He overthrows his target. And it's Hawks inside the 45-yard line of the Volunteers. Let's go. I don't know where he was throwing that. Ah, oh, he threw off his back foot. Wasn't even close. That might be a game changer, boys. Oh, nice tackle by the safety. Pick unable to pitch it. Wide open is Wilson. First down of the 25-yard line. Kale pick. Four for four. Let's go. Get him that sponsorship. It's so weird that we're throwing the football right now. Successfully. Like, what is going on? And West, oh, the freshman drops it inside the five. Again, another really good throw. Just can't capitalize on it. But Pick, I mean, he's on point right now. Loving it. Second down to ten. Pitch it out, Grievous. He's got speed. 
And Grievous down to the six yard line. First and goal for the freshman. At the six-yard line. And wide open is Parsons again. His third catch of the season and his third touchdown. We have found our Jimmy Graham. I mean, how do you guard him? You can't cover him. He's such a huge target. He's also pretty fast for how big he is. Where was this last year for pick? Man, I have no idea. I don't know what it was, but it was so difficult to throw with him the first two seasons altogether, really. But right now, he is carving up this Tennessee defense. Been on target all game, all season. I mean, he has that pick that he did throw, but uh, that was just on a deep go route. Didn't really mean a whole lot. Just a good play by the DB last game, I believe. Here we go. And we can't bring him down with Edwards, but the freshman free safety, James, brings him down at the 25-yard line. Play action. Get him. I'm scared. I'm terrified. What is that animation? Oh my goodness gracious. Why do I continue to get the worst pass deflection animations of all time? Look at this. What is that? If anything, he lowered his body to try to deflect that. What do you mean, good sir? All right, first and ten from inside the red zone now for the Volunteers. Toss. And that is easily snuffed out by McDonald, the corner. Second down, 13 coming up. Counter. Forced him back inside. Still a decent run for a kid. And that'll make it a third down and five from the 13. Let's get the crowd jazzed up. Let's go. Man coverage. Blitzing some linebackers. Getting crazy with it. It's picked off by Hawks. Oh my goodness. It's second of the game. Secondary going crazy right now. I mean, he just jumped right in front of that route to number 21. High. This is crazy. All right, from our own 13. Give the ball to West, I think, here. And West gets his first rush of his career. Picks up a couple on the wide receiver sweep. Let's get real crazy with it here with the halfback option. We'll hand it off to Wilson. See if he can get it out to Alexander on a pitch. Nope, no blocking. That's unfortunate. That's all right. We've got Kale Pick, and he has been going crazy in the passing attack so far. They're down at nine. Wide open is Jenkins. First down, Jayhawks. Let's go. 
Circle may have been open there. I'm not 100% sure. I might have to take a gander at the replay here. But either way, we got the first down. Watching the replay back. Uh, no, he was on. Circle was only open after I threw it, so I'm alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, that is the end of the first quarter. We're on top, 14 to seven, in our rematch with the Volunteers of Tennessee. All right, what are we doing here? Please block him. Oh, he's got a beat. Oh my goodness, McDougald. What a play that was from Pick. That was outrageous pocket movement. Wow. Seals, all sorts of busted on the play. Hopefully he's all right for Tennessee. That was some crazy footwork from Kale Pick. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's go. Let's see, uh, Grievous up the seam, right up the middle. Ah, oh, dang it. I had Harad Jr. open on the corner. Didn't have enough time to throw it accurately, though. Unfortunately. Alright, second down and 10. Seals out for one quarter with elbow bursitis. And Pick cannot pitch it away. 34 comes through unblocked. The tackle for a loss. Third down and 11 coming up. Not quite in field goal range for the freshman, I think. See what we can do here. I'm scared. Jenkins comes back for it. First and goal. What is happening in the passing attack right now, guys? 182 yards passing for Kale Pick with two touchdowns. This is insane. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Oh man, I got stuck on my own fullback. Just couldn't move. Roberson comes through with a sack. That's really unfortunate. Alright, second and goal from the eight. And we get sacked again. Perfect call by the defensive coordinator. Uh, sending the blitz. And that was Brown on 86. Third and goal from the 13 now. Up top, Parsons! Oh, he drops this touchdown. Oh, my goodness. That's all right. We'll kick the field goal. He had it, too. I and mean, he out-jumped everybody. It's not too hard for him to do. Williams on for his first career field goal try. A true freshman. Kick is up. And it's good. 17-7. Is the score here from Lawrence, Kansas. In what could be, you know, a bit of a rivalry that we've started here with Tennessee. As a 10 play, 74 yard drive. Took 249 off the clock. Resulted in a field goal. Come on, Edwards. This time they do hand it off. And nice stiff arm, but Alexander doesn't really get too much after that. We might have to schedule these guys every season. It's been a fun couple of games against them. Of 
Crowd going insane right now. Trying to help out their defense. Toss play. I got crushed. And so did Kid. What about Luke with a nice tackle? Loss, or gain of one, rather. Second down and nine. They're going to keep it on the ground, and Kid dropped by Holden Tharp. Gets two more. Third down and seven coming up for Tennessee. This is a big play. They don't want to give the ball right back to us. There's plenty of time for us to score again. And nice catch. What a really good throw from right, or to right as well. At the 40-yard line. And that is going to be pass interference on us. I barely bumped him with Hall Miller. All right. Counter. Play action. Oh, Meston laying out for it. Can't get it, but really good effort from the linebacker. Not really known for being good in coverage. 18-yard pickup. McBride, 151 yards passing. Touchdown. Two picks, though. I'm gonna hand this one off to Kidd, and he is stopped by Marshall after a few yards. Let's go 5-2. Let's go fire green. Man coverage. Nice pass to right. First down inside the 15 now. Really good drive from Tennessee. Had a couple third and medium to long situations. They converted, and they're still churning out the yards. Play action. I'm covering two guys here. And I get the deflection with Hall Miller. Let's go. McDonald falling asleep at the wheel. Touchdown, Volunteers. I mean, he wasn't even close to making a play on that. My goodness gracious. High is just torching him on the right side of the field. Come on, Thart, block it. Nope. All right, 17 14. We got 154 left on the clock before halftime. I think we can get down the field, get some more points for ourselves. Especially the way Kale Pick has been throwing the ball in this game. It's been insane. That was a nine play, 71 yard touchdown drive. Took 203 off the clock for Tennessee. Just couldn't stop him. Let's go, Hayes. Nice broken tackle. Gets up to the 26. We're going to send Hayes left side, see if he can beat that cornerback again. I'm pretty sure he's got speed on him. Yeah, we're just going to take off, actually. Get the free yards. Nice pickup of 14 for Kale Pick.
We'll send West deep left side. We can get some blocking here, which we don't. We had West one on one with a safety. All right. Lost five yards. 130 to go in the half. Please block for me. Please. Let's go pick. Pitch it out to Alexander. Nice stiff arm. And Alexander down the sideline. Still going up inside the 35-yard line of Tennessee. Really good run from the redshirt senior transfer halfback. Probably didn't have to pitch it there with pick, but uh, why not? Get the running back some, some touches. When I pitched it, it really slowed pick down, so it's all good. All right, 119 left. Plenty of time to do something. Wide open. And West hangs on to it this time. Inside the 15. Kale pick, 9 of 12, 199 yards. And two touchdowns, no picks. Love to see it. Beautiful. All right, what are we going to do here? Same play, I think. Let's try it. Man, it's got 199 yards in the first half. Did not see that coming. Up top, Parsons. Tight end. Oh, this time it's picked. There's a flag. That was a really good play by the DB, just jumping in front of it. That is extremely unfortunate, guys. Just the second interception of the season for Kale. Just went to the freshman tight end one too many times, I think. I mean, he's got the size mismatch for sure. I can't cover that. Oh man, I misplayed it. And right, just too fast. My how the turn has tabled. Tennessee taking the lead. All right, we got time. And this is going to be a really good game. So much fun. I'm not sure how Tharp actually ended up trying to guard that guy, but here we are. 21-17. <laughs> Let's go. That pick in the end zone really hurts. All right, who we got returning this one? This is Grievous. Up to about the 20. Let's go, McDougal. Get open. McDougal, what happened? And he drops it. He got just bodied at the line of scrimmage. What is going on there? Terrible. Never seen somebody get pressed so bad in my life. Come on, West. And he's got it inside the 35-yard line. What a catch by the freshman. Good grief. Just throw it up towards the sideline. He'll make a catch. He'll get it. Right, let's coach up the O-line. West with six catches, 187 yards on the season. Very good. 
See if Alexander can get open. Maybe Harad on the corner. Wide open. And it's caught by Alexander. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Let's go. Pick is a man on a mission right now. Refusing to let that interception get to his head. What a throw to the running back. Wow. So nice to have speed at running back now. You can run these kind of plays. It's like having a bunch of receivers playing in the backfield. Willie Williams on for the extra points to make it a three-point ball game. There it is. 24, 21, 19 seconds left. Cannot let him score again. Just can't do it. We know this kick is going to stay inbounds. Because Francis does not have the leg to kick it through the end zone. That was actually a pretty good kick, though. At the two-yard line. And nice tackle by James, the freshman free safety. Lot of offense in the first half. Both teams going to go into the locker rooms with uh, 300 yards of offense, most likely. Well, maybe not. No gain, or only a gain of one yard for Kid on the play. And that's it, 24-21, as we go into the locker rooms. Number 13, Kansas, on top of the Tennessee Volunteers. Both teams undefeated. Tennessee looking to get their second win. Jayhawks looking for their third of the season. Let's go, Hayes, the freshman halfback. Nice blocking, Hayes, up past the 35. Pretty good return. All right, let's try to get the ground game working. We don't have to throw the ball a lot. I mean, we have been. It's been working. Nice blocking on the outside. McDougal gets the wide receiver sweep. He's inside the 40. The 30 Tennessee has no idea what's going on. Touchdown, Kansas. What a call and what an executed play for the Jayhawks offense. Wow. Keep pounding, baby. That was awesome. We got a trick play to actually work, guys. First play of the second half. They did not expect that whatsoever. Oh, a 65-yard run for the wide receiver. I mean, what do you do against a team that has running backs that can play receiver and that has receivers that can play running back? You know, like, how do you defend that? I don't think you can. I really don't. Extra point, up and good. And just like that, we got a 10-point um, a lead. So nice. 31-21. Go Edwards. Good return. Look out. McDonald, the corner, makes the tackle. Up towards the 40. And a huge hit. By Lavelle Luke. Pick up a five for McBride. And Gant, the wide receiver. Come on, Lee. Good tackle by the safety. Let's go. Secondary is actually doing pretty good. 
I like it. We're down at six coming up. McBride, 12 of 16, 263 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, he is having a good game, but secondary's made quite a few nice plays in this game, and I'll take it. Let's go, Lee. Nice deflection. And three and out. Love to see it. Sims will have to fair catch this one around the 16-yard line. And Kale picking the offense. Take the field again. Mungo Jerry, what's going on, brother? How's it going for me? I'm doing decent. You know, I'm still breathing. Got that going for me, you know. That's about it, but... That was a broken play. Oh, my goodness. Loss of seven. I don't know what happened at all. Couldn't tell any of you. I am slightly confused as to what just took place. Second down, 17 now after that travesty of a play. And now an overthrow to the halfback who was wide open. All right. Okie dokie then. Third and 17. From the nine. I'm going to try to hit West. The safety cheats at all. Oh my goodness. He almost made a miraculous one-handed catch. Well, I guess we're going to have to punt it away. Harrison on for his first punt of the ball game. Standing in his own end zone. Come on, boys. Get down there. Well, good tackle by Meston. Linebacker. Peyton Manning is somewhere growing more of a forehead watching this game. Feels bad. Get him. Tharp with a nice tackle. Maybe a yard for... Who was that? I don't even know who that receiver was. Kid. That was the halfback, actually. All right, second down and nine. Paul Miller gets the pick. Let's go. The user interception. Come on, baby. Payne played ball at Tennessee, didn't he? Yes, he sure did. Number 16 at Tennessee. Paul Miller with his first pick of the season. Beautiful. Here we go. Nice blocking. Kale Pick to the outside. Kale Pick. Can he win the foot race against the corner? I don't know if he can. Kale Pick. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Let's go. He's just too fast, baby. What a performance today from the senior quarterback. I mean, Hurst, what happened, buddy? Look right here. It looked like he was going to catch him. And didn't even make an attempt at a tackle. 58-yard touchdown run for the quarterback. And with the extra point being good, we have a three-score lead, 38-21, with 3.44 left in the third. Francis kicks it to the seven. Nice tackle, fumble! 
Oh man, we un we nearly had it. That was James, the freshman free safety, the four-star recruit. So close to recovering that fumble. We have 449 yards of offense. Tennessee with 300, so they're doing pretty decent themselves. Oh, what a hit! Holden Tharp crushes him. Second down to 10 now. Quick pass and caught by Kid. They're going to lose a few yards on this pass play, though. And we get a quick look at Arps, the right defensive end, who has not had his number called at all this season as far as sacks or tackles for loss or anything. Let's see if he can make a play here. And Tharp with a nice deflection. Another three and out for Tennessee. They're starting to crumble a little bit in the third quarter. Sims to return the punt. And only up to the 39. We're just going to take off, get a few yards with pick. I didn't want to force a pass downfield or anything. Second down and nine for the Jayhawks. And Trent Smiley, the tight end, the number one tight end, makes a nice catch inside the 40-yard line. First down, Kansas. And receivers are just out here making plays. Pick with over 300 yards passing, three touchdowns as well. Insane numbers from the senior quarterback. West, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the right side. That's the true freshman wide receiver that we picked up in recruiting. He's got him beat. Come on, West. And a one-handed snag. Oh my goodness, this guy's a monster. Jayhawks are flying. You got that right, boy. Let's go. Give me the replay. This man just got mossed out of his mind. Wow. Over 100 yards receiving for the freshman and a touchdown on four catches. Woo. We're cruising now, boys. I mean, Tennessee's done nothing in this second half. We got the touchdown to end the first half, and I think that just took all the wind out of their sails. Extra point nearly blocked. 45-21 now. 2.06 left in the third. Three plays, 60-yard touchdown drive. Kale Pick just, just going insane today. In the air, on the ground. Might just put him out here on kickoff. He can kick the ball. And we are over 500 yards of offense on an SEC defense. Let's go. 
And nice tackle by Williams, the young defensive lineman. A loss of two on the play. And that pass nearly picked off. And High breaks a couple tackles and nearly gets the first down. A couple receivers over 100 yards receiving in the game. I don't even care about how many yards passing we give up because it's just inevitable that teams are going to throw for a lot of yards against us. Just going to have our focus be stopping the run, forcing them to pass, and hoping that, that our guys can make some plays in the secondary like that. That's deflection by Lee. That was intended for the fullback. And Tennessee going to punt it away again. They are just falling apart in the second half. Tennessee is a disappointment. I mean, they were playing a hell of a game in the first half. I don't know what happened in the locker room at halftime. But this team just does not want to play for their coach, it looks like, anymore. Oh, the blocking on the left side. Sims nearly had a punt return touchdown. Gets it up to midfield. Get some blocking here, please. West, wide open. And West breaking. Oh, my goodness. Broke two tackles inside the 20-yard line. He is ridiculous. 33-yard reception. I mean, we caught fire. With that last touchdown in the first half, it completely swung the momentum in our favor. And Tennessee just looks like a deer caught in headlights. Gail Pick getting the carry. Carrying a defender. Touchdown, Kansas. What a run. What a performance from the senior quarterback. I mean, this is one of the best performances I've ever seen. Ever. Just of all time. On the channel, at least. We got the 50 burger. It's 50 to 21. We have scored. How many, how many points have we scored in a row? It was 21 to 17, right? So five straight touchdowns. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted at the moment. Fumble! Oh my goodness, Mitchell recovers it. Tennessee getting lucky on kickoffs, recovering two of their own fumbles. Toss play. And Kidd with a good run. 12-yard carry. They finally get a first down in the second half. They've gone three and out in every single drive. Nice throw out to High at the 41. First down, Tennessee. 19-yard pickup. And that's the final play of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We are up big now. 52-21 over Tennessee at home. I mean, this, this game just turned on a dime just so quick. Play action. I missed. Tharp did not miss. 
Very sure tackler at linebacker. Another play action pass. And there's a sack. That is Meston. Huge hit on the QB. I'm going to send Tharp on a blitz from the left side now. On second and 18 from the 33 yard line. And nice play by Meston, forcing him out of bounds. Pick up a four for Alexander. And another sack. Let's go. I think that's Marshall. That's our third sack of the ball game. Also have two hurries and three INTs. And that was Marshall. It sure was. He's doing pretty good for himself this season. And obviously they're going to go for it. I know it's, uh, you know, 4th and 17, but what do they have to lose, really, at the 32-yard line? Got to get to the 15. And Lee literally did nothing. I hit L1, and he just kept running. Touchdown, Tennessee. They finally stopped the bleeding. Look, I get zero animation from Lee. What in darnation? That's unacceptable. Gonna watch some HBO Max? Nice, Marvin. What are you gonna watch, buddy? Movie? A show? What's going on? Alright, 52-28 is the score now. 4.30 left in the game. Are they gonna go onside kick here? Yep. And that is recovered by Tennessee. That was Seals. Who got hurt earlier in the game, I think in the first quarter. That's the second onside kick recovery against us this season. Definitely something to watch out for in close games. Need to correct that. May have to do some formation subs on kick returns. Oh my goodness, Edwards laying out for the deflection. What a play. I mean, that is our starting onside recovery team. Our hands team. And they just could not get it. That's two times. Now, that's that just blows my mind. It's like I'm kicking the onside kicks or something. Because I'm damn good at it. Alexander close to moving the chains for Tennessee. Eric Tavares back in the chat. What up, Eric? Congrats on the job, buddy. Oh, what a hit from Lavelle Luke. Let's go. Beasting and feasting. At the second level. He's got six tackles, one sack today. Cover two guys over here, and that's an overthrow. Second down and 10 from the 48. Just had some dinner. Nice, Eric. What'd you have to eat, buddy? Let's go, Hall Miller. Okay. I see you. All right, Jay, take it easy, buddy. Appreciate you uh, tuning in, as always. Oh, I don't 
don't know what that play was. That was some sort of screen, and that did not work whatsoever. Josh West, our freshman receiver, eight catches, 256 yards, and a touchdown on the season. Averaging over 30 yards per catch. That is insane. Ribs and mac and cheese. Oh, Eric, that sounds so delicious. I'm starving. I'll probably have a, uh, a ham sandwich for dinner. Uh-oh. And he tried the one-handed catch that West had a touchdown on earlier. He did not get it. All right, let's run this clock out and get out of here with the dub. And Wilson, the freshman running back, gets the carry. About three or four yards. Hand it off to the fullback now on second down. Today was National Mac and Cheese Day, too. Oh, man, feels bad that I'm not going to have it on there. That's, that's terrible. I regret every life decision I ever made leading up to this point. Second down and seven. What a game from Kale Pick. I mean, I, I can't say enough about him today. Definitely not how I thought this game was going to go as far as uh, his performance, but... I mean, I knew he was going to run the football well. But he was going insane throwing it. And he's going to have to throw it here. Third and nine coming up. Two for four in the game. Tennessee, three for nine on third down today. Keep running the clock down inside two minutes. Try not to get any of our guys hurt to end the game. Hopefully they block for me on this play. That would be fantastic. They did not. Alexander scoops up the fumble from Pick. Did they just call a timeout? They did. Are you kidding me? Because, you know, they have a shot at coming back here. It's all right. Get some work in for Harrison, punting the ball. See what happens. See how that looks. Harrison kicks it. Come on, McDonald. It's all right. Number four made the tackle. I don't know who that is, but good job. You're the best around. No one's ever going to take you down. 136 remaining in the game. There you go. Keep him in bounds. I like it. Let's go. I don't know how he kept him in bounds right there. Always a good day for mac and cheese. I 100% agree with that. I do. He almost caught that. The acceleration to try to catch that was insane. Instead, it's third down and six. Pick, play of the game for Kansas. Right, play of the game for Tennessee. I mean, pick over 400 yards of offense, six touchdowns. Ridiculous. Oh, what a catch by the fullback. Oh, he dropped it? Oh, my goodness. What an effort, though. I thought for sure he caught that. I'm not sure if our defender actually knocked the ball out of his hands when he was coming down, but really good effort from the fullback. Had some hamburger helper, Jordan. Nice. What kind, buddy? Let me know. Oh, what a hit. Jeez. That was Hawks on the tackle. Went to Chirac, didn't get shot. It's a beautiful story. Alright, Hawks. I need you to not let this happen. Alright? Is that possible? Let's try to finish the game strong. They've thrown for over 400 yards. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
Because we are winning by a bunch, so I just don't care. Only stat that matters, the scoreboard. Beef Stroganoff hamburger helper for the win. Absolutely. So good. Oh, nice deflection by Hall Miller in the end zone. They count it as a drop for Gant, apparently. Even though I'm pretty sure I hit that with Hall Miller. But all right. Whatever. Incomplete either way. Yeah, I don't think anything can top Beef Stroganoff. I mean, it's just... It's the bee's knees, if I do say so myself. All right, Hall Miller. Uh, way to not raise your hand for a deflection, guy. Good job. I hit L1, and he goes for an interception. I don't understand. All right, they're going to go for two points here. Not really too sure why, but whatever. And McDonald is just taking a nap in the back of the end zone. What are you doing, man? Seven plays, 70 yard drive. All right, hands team, use your hands. Catch the football. You have got to be kidding me. What are we doing on, on onside recoveries? That's the third recovery this season against our hands team. What is happening? North Texas had one against us as well. This is their second in this game for Tennessee. So yeah, let's just make it look worse than it was. Are you serious? Double beef hamburger helper. Nice. Tennessee not giving up. Making it look closer than it actually was, but... This is insane. What are we doing? Computer's cheating me. You think so? I mean, there's another two-point conversion. And we are up by eight now. I mean, hats off to Tennessee for getting this far. Wow. This is insane, guys. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to say. We just can't catch the ball on on onside kicks for some reason. Good sack by Meston. Tennessee you running out of time now in a game that should not be this close. And drop pass. 25 seconds left. Keep him in front of you. Good play, Tharp. Fourth down. the first down here and go out of bounds. Six seconds left. And keeping in bounds again. They're going to have time for one more play maybe if their guys can get to the line of scrimmage. Did they? Oh, they called a timeout. Okay. Let's play the game. 
and they're not going to get in. So we do get the win. It was a ridiculous ending with two late touchdowns from Tennessee, two straight onside kick recoveries, but, I mean, we actually were dominating them until that point, so. Another close win versus Tennessee. We're going to schedule them again next season. I'm liking this series so far. But we are 3-0, and Tennessee 1-1 one one on the season now. Kale Pick. Probably one of the greatest performances in Kansas football history. All right, let's take a look at the stats and get on out of here. That was the number two greatest game of all time. Great, awesome, love it, love to see it. Zero defense in this game. We had 180 rushing yards, 371 passing, which is just, I don't even know what to say. Pick, 371 yards, four touchdowns, sacked five times. He also ran for 60 yards and two scores. Bradley McDougal to start the second half. Wide receiver sweep touchdown, 65 yards. What a beast. Beautiful. We did not need to run the ball at all this game. It was kind of crazy. If the CPU completed the cheating comeback, you would stop watching the series altogether. Feels bad. Josh West, great performance from him. Five catches, 151 or 152 yards, one touchdown for the true freshman. Uh, Parsons, freshman tight end, two catches, two touchdowns. And Steven Alexander had a touchdown as well. Receivers were playing really good for us. I mean, West had a couple drops, but they were, um, you know, in, you know, contested plays. You know, really good coverage on him. Defense, uh, Dexter McDonald, the corner with nine tackles. Lavelle Luke had six. A lot of guys had four. Four sacks for the defense. Meston, Marshall, and Lavelle Luke. Three picks. Hawks had two. Hawn Miller with one. Six deflections. Couple forced fumbles. Carl James, the freshman, free safety forced one. Nearly recovered one as well. Willie Williams, one for one. Field goals. All right. Who do we play next? We'll take a quick look at the schedule as I head on out of here for the night, fellas. All right, here's our schedule. This is going to be our next stream tomorrow. We're going to be hosting Texas Tech. We'll be traveling to, hopefully, number one, Nebraska. And then our third game is our third try at beating the Kansas State Wildcats. Tomorrow night will be that stream, guys. So uh, definitely a tough schedule that we have. We also got Oklahoma, Iowa State. This is the, the schedule for our Saturday stream, which will be doing the completion of Season 3. So Oklahoma, Iowa State, Colorado, Texas, Missouri, and Iowa. So that is some tough sledding there, boys. But we're going to simulate the rest of week three. Save it. And I'm going to get on out of here, guys. So if you did enjoy tonight's stream and you haven't already, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below. I hope to see y'all in there. So until tomorrow night, around 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, it has been your boy, Optimus Klein. Take it easy, guys.